Hello everyone, Lars Lees is here, welcome back to another gaming breakdown. Before I start, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share with your friends, anyone who comments about the game can get the chance to get the game for free. Now let's begin. Got five minutes? I hope so. Welcome to Elder Loop. Now if you're wondering what the hell is Elder Loop, yeah, think of it a mix of Wrist of Rain and Enter the Gungeon. Now, if you like any of those two games, you're going to love this one. If you don't know what any of these two games are, let me explain. It's like a twin stick shooter. Like so, the end of the into the gunner part is like the go by floor or go, go by section, kill enemies. Um, you kill like a like like depending on the Iron Jesus, you could become like a like a beast, or you could be very very weak. And it all depends on the items you get. Now, as I said, I didn't get that far into the game, so I don't know what's like the full loop. Like if there's like can you trade items? I know there's some stuff that you can sacrifice hearts to get a chest. There's unique there's unique enemies aside from the the, the mini bosses that you can fight that drop like unique perks. There's these there's things like this that if you survive for 30 seconds, you can get like a very powerful perk and you can do it again. That's the beautiful part. But it gets harder and harder and harder. The enemies will get way there'll be more enemies, there'll be more bullets to dodge, so depending if you're skilled enough, you might be able to do it, or you just die like that. But the beautiful thing about Elder Loop is that even when you die, you instantly come back in. The game doesn't load up. The game just instantly throws you back into the game, and you're, you gotta go back again. So it doesn't give you that moment of pause. You just kind of like, oh, okay, you know what? The game started over again. Let me do one more. Let me do one more. And that's the thing that Elder Loop does really, really good. It hooks you in and it makes you just do one more run even when you're about to just want to go sleep. You're like, hey, you know what? I died, I came back. Let me try one more time and see my luck and see what, what happens. And like sometimes you might get lucky and bump into the Grim Reaper like I just did. Sometimes you might get lucky enough to find a very strong perk, which that wasn't it. And you might have like a, you might find a very powerful gun. Or maybe you find like a, a, a good little, you know, kind of like synergy, like with, with like a, well, I have one with like a beastie crit chance, so like when I hit enemies, I hit them hard and they were dying. Good. But the game's fun. The game's addicting. The game's like $10 on Steam. So don't forget to, you know, show your love. But that's really it about Elder Loop. It's a nice little indie game that costs like $10, $12. It's fun to play, easily replayable. And on top of that, when you beat the game, you get endless mode, so you can become a demon from hell and show and really see all the synergies that the game really has to offer instead of dying in the first stage like I do. But you know what? That's actually less than 10 minutes. It's actually pretty short. I'm trying to make these breakdowns a little bit more shorter and tighter so maybe people more more people watch it. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed see. Till then guys, subscribe, like, share this with your friends. Until then guys, I'll see you next time.